been designing apps and websites for 12 years now, and with that comes constant challenge of not burning out. But one of my favorite ways to stay inspired is to mix my work with passion projects. It keeps things fun, creative, and reminding me why I start designing in the first place. So in today's video, I'm gonna design and build three different web apps. Let's get into it. If I already have a clear vision, I will start directly in Figma, if not I will sketch something on my iPad or even on a piece of paper. Recently I've been kinda obsessed with pixel art, so I decided to make a simple weather app but in pixel style. Now Figma is great for design, but when it comes to prototyping it has its limits. If I want this to actually work, I will need to pull a real weather data. Since I'm not a master in coding, I'm gonna use Vibe Coding tools. There are lots of options on the market that can bring Figma design into code directly. Honestly, my favorite one is Bold.new. It's fast, accurate and keep everything consistent with the Figma design. So I'm gonna copy my Figma link and paste it into Bold. Once the base version is ready, I ask it to add a real weather forecast based on the current user location. Then I added a few features I didn't really plan for, like the weekly forecast or option to search for a different location. The best part is my letter prompts still respect my original design, so we stay consistent the whole time. I can even replace images directly from my Figma assets, select the elements individually, or add animation to specific parts. Honestly, it maybe took me like an hour to make this and it feels like actual product. One of my favorite ways to create pixel style assets is to use Pixel Brush in Procreate. It's such a fun process, you can start simple and then slowly add detail until it looks alive. For the Pomodoro app, since it included multiple screens, I'm gonna ask Bolt first to generate a base for me. This part always feels like magic and in a few minutes I'm gonna have a working Pomodoro app. The base look cool but I wanted to replace everything with my own assets. So what I've done is I've created folders inside Bolt which is called public and I uploaded my audio, my background images and my sprites and then I did manually, I was selecting the layers and I was asking to like update background to different ones. The music actually work, that's nice done with the first time that was super fast now i'm gonna ask it to restyle those battle to be pixel style and i need to remove that shadow that goes here now that i got my music played in the background for the work focus also for the break focus the last thing nice to have i think would be the number of session displayed and maybe a progress bar so i'm gonna add this and i think this mini app will be ready it's wild how much you can actually create without touching the full text stack the only real limit is your imagination if you guys want to know how to prepare your figma designs into vibe coding tools such as bolt i actually made the video the other day when i explained this process step by step I've always been obsessed with Insta camera, the printing experience, the vintage filter added to it. So for the third project, I'm gonna try to recreate like a digital Instax camera experience. So for the Instax, I'm not doing design in Figma, we're gonna start the bolt directly. What I like to do first is to get some product requirements and prompts that I should be using in bolt. So I'm gonna use this time Claude and tell him the idea I have for app and it's gonna give me the prompts I should be using in Bolt. So let's see what Claude gonna give us this time. I describe very briefly. Right, so it's giving me the prompts for initial setup, the camera, Instax frame and filter, download feature, gallery feature, polish refinement. What I like to do as well is ask Claude if they have any ideas how I can improve it. Do you think I should add any else? Oh, it's giving us multiple filter options. 
takes data stamp on photos. Yes, I forgot about it. So now I have all the prompts ready. We're gonna go into pull.new. I'm gonna just copy the prompt from Clot. And it's also using the Clot agent. So I think it's good if, if we start in with Clot to give us prompt. <laughs> My favorite part is the beginning and the end of vibe coding. So first I'm gonna see the first version and I'm gonna be, wow, this is actually work. It's built. Let's see what's going on. Camera in use. But we don't have preview. Let's see. What if I upload picture? Let's see if I upload if it's working. Gorgeous. Oh, and that's it. It's just there. Right. Let's go with second prompt. Let's try with this and then I'm gonna fix the webcam. I think I will spend some time after to actually draw Instax in Figma and I'm gonna split into different layers so maybe we can make like a clickable button as well but for now let's get the functionality sorted so it's actually working and then we can replace the UI elements with our old elements that was quite fast let's try with the upload photo first no way it's so fast the filters worked so fast I'm impressed how fast this work of okay, few things I already wanna add don't know where to start now I want to add like so many things and need to test again the webcam because it could be my cookie issue on the browser or could be the webcam is not working. fix the camera issue that was because I used already webcam when I was doing that video so I had to disconnect that and then I changed the filters to be even more like Instax about the caption option date stamp also the download works with the filter added and the caption and date stamp lastly I added a login option and even managed to add Google wasn't really that hard and of course I added the actual Instax. So now it's look a bit more like actual digital Instax experience, but we are not done yet. I'm gonna continue to work on my Instax app over the weekend, final version I'm gonna add hopefully in the description. Honestly, I think this kind of vibe coding tool is gonna be the new normal for designers, whether it's just a fun prototype on an actual app. You don't have to be a full developer to bring your ideas to life. Thank you for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this vlog slash tutorials, hit the like, subscribe, and as always, see you next time. Bye!